I don't that know what suck. this is. Dude, this beer is actually pretty good. I'm not Long Dick Hammer beer. IPA. <laughs> it's good shit. Ooh, yeah. Good shit. Good. New, it's good. New school. Is that how close you're going to be? Yeah, I'll probably lean it from time to time, but I like to chill him back. I want to duct tape this Chill back and chill back. I'll chill back like this. I'll probably be like this. For sure. Q, can you... So I'm good? I'm okay? I can be heard? You're going to do it like that? I can be heard to the masses? The masses and masses, the millions and millions and millions of Martian pista casters can hear me? Nah, just just half of them. Oh, okay, just half. Everybody famous. Er Everybody famous. And... You're gonna fuck with my followers. Mm, you got no. the thingy thing? There's a thingy thing. Okay. Hang up. Alright, so. Alright, alright, alright. Jesus. Jeff has been fiddling with his fucking mic stand for the past 15 minutes as I'm trying to. 10 minutes! Look, boy, you exactly. fiddling right Dude, we've been here for a while. You're like the Pied Pied Piper, man. Oh, yeah, who, who thought he forgot the cables? I didn't think I forgot the cables. I forgot the cables, and then I fucking saved the day by getting different ones and being a smart guy about it. Just yeah, but it still took like half an hour for that to happen. Yeah, but you forgot those cables in your car, so in yeah. essence, you forgetting them actually saved the day of your forgetfulness. I know, isn't that crazy? Yeah. I, I always got audio cables on me. Like, man, if you, someone's like, man, we got an auxiliary cable, I'm like, yeah, hold on a second, I'll go get it. Radio you like shot. that pack rat, but a useful pack rat. But it's not even like I packed them in there. It's literally, they just they were in my trunk, and yeah. I'm like, there's I didn't know it, but I'm like, there's got to be RCA cables in my car yeah. somewhere. And I just went digging around, and I was like, let's try the trunk. You like right the there. Mobile nice. Radio Shack. Nice. And I, open, I and you know what's crazy? <laughs> this actually happened the other day. I, I never opened my trunk, um, because if there's a bunch of shit in it, so I can't put any more shit in it. <laughs> but the other day I opened it for some reason, and I looked at this. I'll just call it a machine for right now. Machine. Basically, what it is is a vintage 1970s bass head, like a bass, like a head for a bass guitar. Oh, okay. And <laughs> you got a dead nigga in the trunk. You got a bass head in the trunk. What are you doing? Bass head <laughs> from '72. A bass head, a crackhead, and a dope junkie. <laughs> Sammy Cosmo's <laughs> uncle. <laughs> Fucking Randy Cosmo. Randy Cosmo. <laughs> Randy yeah. Starboard, Starbird. Okay, so I straight up. Randy Starburst. So I I took I took um, Ozzy Supernova. I looked at it and then I realized what it was. I'm like, holy crap! I've had this for years since I was in high school. You, you got know? that for Mr. Cat, right? Mr. Cat, yeah. Yeah, it's like that, leather. That's our uh, yeah, it's our it's our high school uh, uh, drama teacher and like TV production teacher and all that shit. He did all that shit and he gave me all this stuff and that was one of the things he gave me. Just I looked it up. It's a custom K250 is the name the name of this the uh, the head. It's not the serial number, but it's the, you know what I'm talking about. The model about. number. The model number, yeah. Model Does it work? Um, it worked when I used it when it gave it to me, and I took it inside my store to test it out on one of the cabinets, mm. and there was a small a small electrical fire. So I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. But, but it wasn't in the actual head. It was on the plug in the, oh. the wall. So actually, oh. I, I surged basically the, the extension cord. So it's possible that my my head is fine. It's probably that the thunder of like yeah. Zeus is contained in that fucking bass head. Like I'm it's surprised like Pandora's box of bass. So much power. Like the souls of like Jacopo stirs it and like fly out of it. <laughs> like fly Ghost out the machine. and like knock everything out like Slimer and shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, what happened? What happened? I crossed the stream, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Speaking of I think you just got to replace the flux capacitor, dude. That's the only thing. Dude, Speaking I, I, of was, I was pumping too much gigawatts, bro. <laughs> Speaking of Slimer, the uh, the Cinemark by our house on on 75 is, I believe, if they are not now, they will be doing like a special 30th anniversary screening of Ghostbusters 1 and 2. No one knows what Cinemark is. Well, the, I'm just saying, the movie theater by our house. It's it's cold no one knows where our house is. Just gotten... Just, <laughs> we're thinking global here, Jeff. People in Dubai, they don't know where Cinemax is. They don't, they don't care what movie's okay, playing at your local movie, movie theater. theater. The movie theater where we live. I know, but how... Just saying. All right, dude in Arizona is maybe listening. Never take, mind. take a venture down here. I get it. <laughs> it was more about the Ghostbusters. I get it. Yes. It I was, know. We're just... It's, giving you a hard segue. time. It's the dynamic. That's what we do. It's giving you a hard time, man. Oh, why do I got to be the one to be giving a hard time? Because you said what you said. You just, Shut up. It kind of just lends itself. It's like you set it up <laughs> and we It lends itself all through middle school. I'm kind of, you know... That's how, that's how Manny bumped it. I said it. No. 
We um, bumped it, you said it, and then we striked, striked it. Asses. Volleyball Both terms. You want, to talk, you want to talk about volleyball now? I thought, you were, I thought we, were, <laughs> we were playing Bop It. So I was going to twist it. No, twist it. Dude, I actually have that game. I should I should bring it next time. I, ha- I have that game. Actually, I may have gotten rid of it now. But I, I did have, have it, it at some point. Uh, all right. That's it? That's all you had to say about yeah. Bop It? <laughs> I have it, though. I was playing it the other day. Remember, um... Fuck okay. Hold on the way. No, I have a question, though. Do you have Bop It, or do you have that, that fucking Bop It Extreme no, shit? No, it's the, the well, it's original like Bop, Bop It. It's They just add, like, two extra things. They're like, yeah. they're like look for it. And really, <laughs> <laughs> smell it. Jerk it. Sense it with ESP. <laughs> Smash it against your face. <laughs> oh, you know. Do it. Do it. You're Kill your family. family. Do it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the original Bop It. Yeah. That's, that's the best one yes, and, but it's like indeed. I never understood it like you hit it like and it still two works t- but you I've hit it like seen... two times to play like a different style game where he would say it out loud or it would just be the noises yeah or then then there's like a third rules that you don't even know what the fuck you're supposed to do and you always lose yeah like, mm. you, you, it's like twist it and you twist it and it's like yeah. 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 you dumbass <laughs> you do it a fraction so, of a second too late <laughs> sometimes like, nope. guy, like, nope. you don't get to twist it now he's like and slowly we would make Americans realize they don't know shit it's like a Chinese, evil Chinese, like, whoa. About <laughs> shit. That would not surprise me. He's like, we're going to make them all that special. Oh, we're going to make them stupid. Oh, man. All right. All right. How do you make our people feel like stupid? You 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 make them feel stupid. You make them I mean, think, yeah, that's a way yeah. to, one way to do it. I don't know. No, no, no. I, I was fucking racist, racist by yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just like went into that. I was just like, all right, man. <laughs> well, let, let's, let's get back to appropriateness and appropriately introduce the show. True. This Probably. is the Martian Pisty Cast. <laughs> Been rebranded, folks. The, piss, the piss, Pissy Kissed. <laughs> All right, yeah, so. Martian so, Pissy Cast. Martian Purred Cursed, Martian Pisty Cast, Piss Cast, Parse Kissed, whatever you want to call Parsex. it. This is the podcast that we deliver every once in a while. Um, Why you got to put so much emphasis on the H? My name is. Alex Martinez. Next to me, as always, is Jeff Shannon. And joining doing? us now, man, and again, is sorry. Man, it pissed off. Manuel Pistolero. <laughs> Got M. Period. Pistolero. M. Dot. That's it. <laughs> okay, so I want, I want to tell you guys something. Yeah. This might be boring, but it's, I'm really excited about this. It's perfect mm-hmm. time to bring it up. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Bring it all the boring stuff now. We yeah. gotta just bring all the boring stuff out right now. <laughs> Let's start slow. Yeah. <laughs> slow build. All right. So, I put all my important crap. I love, I love how I say important and then follow it with the word crap on my external hard drive, and I erased my entire operating system and installed a fresh one, an old school one. Yeah. Which allows me to use my Reason music program. My Logic. <laughs> and my intuition <laughs> no but look I can use reason again which is nice. awesome because I was without it for a while which by the way Manny if we can get those uh, sounds I got them you got them right right, I gotta get them somehow I should have brought my external we'll do it next time um, but yeah so I got that working again um, everything just runs smoother now because I was at like this most recent operating system or whatever and like just shit wasn't working yeah. And like they were like I bought this I bought this other music software or whatever and it was like can't install. Yeah. And then I just reverted my I went back and did whatever I did and I installed it again. Perfect. Time no machine. problem at all. So I'm, I'm really like, happy about that. I can start like making music and shit. I started sampling like different yeah. songs and stuff nice. that I've been wanting to sample for like years now. Uh, so just saying I'm gonna be dishing out some new shit. music pretty I was soon. Just, I was actually listening to my beats last night with like Chris and a, a couple friends of ours and I hadn't heard the beats in a long time. And we put them on, and we're just freestyling and stuff. And I was like, "Damn, I really want to make some new stuff." Cool, I'm glad. Like, I knew that. My favorite of your beats is Bazooki. Really? Yeah. Bazooki, I like Opium. I like I like Kush God. Kush God yeah. is good too. Well, because those are all on your SoundCloud. But, but there's so many beats yeah. that aren't on the internet that I have I know. in my iTunes at home that I listen to, and I'm just like, oh, we never did anything. With I mean, these. Traveler is pretty fucking cool. No. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I actually just and um, LSD's nuts. Yeah, <laughs> LSD's uh, Shadows of a Trip. Yeah, AKA Shadows of a Trip. AKA what but, the um, fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I love that I'm though. I actually listened that. to the original one the other day. That's trippy. Yeah, it's weird because all right, there's a song that Manny and I uh, freestyled uh, one night when we were um, journeying to another dimension, and the beat like skipped in the beginning of it. Like it just like it skipped like a whole two measures or not two measures like two beats 
like two counts and in Manny's freestyle was like what the fuck just happened yeah. but then he just kept freestyling with it and it was cool it never happened the rest of the beat yeah. and then um i freestyled after that and it was like actually it was two separate freestyles which is what i realized yeah and yeah. that same night we put it all on the same beat <laughs> And it was funny because when I, I actually found the separate freestyle that really? I did where I freestyled on the whole thing nice. and I heard shit that I haven't heard in forever. And it's I remembered that the beat fucked up, so I went with the beat fucking up. Like I came in on <laughs> like that. Nice. One. Yeah. That's exactly so what I did. Beat, beat, yeah. Beat, <laughs> nice. This is dope. It was crazy, dude. We should, we're gonna put a link in that right now in the video. Ready? Boop. Just it's right up. there. Right there. <laughs> now it's oh, well, yeah, yeah. Well, because it's not like a video video, but yeah, it will be on YouTube. It'll so. be there. Dude, yeah. I, I, I don't even know how to fucking do that shit. Like, I know how to like put like a little thought bubble, oh, the but actually linking it to whatnot? something. You can call my grandma. She, she, she knows how to do Your it. Your grandma invented that. My grandma <laughs> did that before they invented it. <laughs> and then she sewed it so, so to fucking... Uh, so speaking of music, um, I was really pumped up before I got here because... I put on some yeah. uh, Dell the Funky Homo Sapien, oh, okay. specifically uh, the album Deltron 3030, and that shit just trips you out, like, like it hyped me up so much. Like, I don't know, man. This is 3030. He just says the Dell says the craziest shit. Yeah. In that I, album. Lo- I, really I, 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 I love Dell's vocabulary. People. He just says he talks about space and robots and yeah, and like, yeah. but also like smart human hu- like human shit. It's yeah. like humanity that like in the future where it's going and shit. Yeah. Like, it's so true. Like, it's fucking crazy, man. Yeah. When, mm-hmm. well, when he says everyone wants to be a DJ, everybody wants yeah. to be an MC, yeah. everyone wants to tell you the meaning of music, like, all that shit it's is, like, like super happening. happening yeah. right now. Yeah. Everybody's famous. And it's not even 2030. I know. <laughs> nope. Well, I don't like yeah. about that was that he takes it from the cosmic, and then, and then through the course of the song, he brings it to the, to the you know, to the earth. And, like, and just lays it out on level for all of for like all deep of his lyrics, listeners. It's such crazy. As you gotta brush your teeth if you must. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just revolutionary in the way that it's <laughs> No, but the thing about Dell is no, that he can actually make he can write a song about anything. I know, yeah. he has that's his funky shit. I mean I I just love everything he's done basically. I love everything he's done. It's weird though, like when you listen to Deltron thirty thirty, you yeah. listen to his other shit, you're just like no, Whoa! Th- like that, he was like an epic, epic out like concept album. Like I think, yeah, he, I think he just finally went out and was just like, "Listen, I'm gonna say some shit people need to hear." Yeah, and and then and then blow everybody away, and then you know not release a full album. Forever. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, oh, what's up, Gorillas? Yeah, I'll sing on your song. I'll rap yeah. on your song, but you know, like, he's he showed up here and there, man. But that that was his like, what is it? That, that magnum that, opus. That's his uh his magnum opus. Is that, is that what it's called? That's what that's actually what it's called. His masterwork. His swan song. It's pinnacle. Yeah. Pinnacle. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's good stuff. I'm all, of course, listening to De La Soul and stuff like that. I don't know. Can't not. The reason I, I like De La Soul so much, another hip-hop group, is because they have been around for so long, and they have not stopped making music. They just keep on doing it. They have, like, a new album coming out and shit. Keep on keeping on. Like, they released a single, like, a few months ago, and it, it's awesome. Yeah. All right, so... I just wanted to get off that off my chest because I was really happy about it. Oh shit! Yeah, sure. Um, so, does anybody have a topic? Maybe we could talk about uh, maybe something that happened to them. I mean, I just came back from the Keys. I, I can mean, talk about that, but I mean, I want to hear what you guys have been up to. I haven't seen Manny in forever. I I had an interesting night last night. Yeah, I saw well, some Snapchats. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't really interesting as much as it was. It was kind of disappointing. It was kind of a bummer. Like this. This girl that, that, like, back in the day, like, pretty much this girl, back in high school, like, all my group of friends, we all had the biggest crush on her. She was, like, perfect. Like, you know the what I mean? Girl. Like, girl next door, literally, like, like, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. We all, like, had crushes on her and shit. And she was just, like, really awesome. And I guess she just, you know, kind of just, like, gone to mad drugs and partying and everything like that. And I hadn't seen her in a while. And, and she came over here yesterday with Chris. And, dude... I was so, like, taken back because she literally is just, like, a shell version of what, like... She used like, to be. Yeah, like, it's wow. really crazy. It's really sad, you know, like, that it took... It, like, that shit really took its toll. You know what I mean? Like, all that partying and everything like that for so long. She mean one of those oh, girls that, like, does. when she's 50, she looks 80. Dude, it's so sad. That's so sucks. sad. And yeah. she's, like, permanently just, like, fried. Like, she, she can't even, like... You're talking to her, it's like how a girl when she's trying like, yeah, like all like that. Yeah. That's just how she is now, like oh my 24-7, gosh. dude. That was pretty bad. I was like, wow. 
Just, yeah, yeah, that shit like, can take your toll. I steal from it. stores. Like, yeah, I just, like, steal everything. I don't really care. Like, just, I'm just like, all right. I'm like, kind of like, I'm, like, looking around my house. I'm like, what do I got out? Like, what the fuck, <laughs> man? I'm like, you need to get out of here. Like, don't be telling me you're stealing shit. Yeah, exactly. Damn. Yeah. But anyway, I know it's kind that of a bummer. Sucks. I don't really mean to, like, bum everybody out. No, but it's cool. don't, don't, you know, don't, uh, don't throw away your youth. No, definitely not. I actually started listening to a few podcasts um, recently in the last few weeks. Not to like what you listen to. You don't, yeah, I know you listen to Comedy Button and a couple it's other shit right po- there. podcasts. It's my shit. Yeah, my shit is um, well. Shit. I found this. Po- I found this podcast called Inkling Radio, and it's basically a podcast about um, Tol- J.R. Tolkien, C.S. Lewis, Lord of the Rings, Chronicles of Narnia, that kind of deal. Um, of course, of course, and it, of course, Sta- it would standard be. reading. Of course, um, but <laughs> and, but school. not just them, but also the group. The sort it's trying to they they talk about the literary group that they hung out with. Is for me, it's really interesting stuff. I mean, for anybody out there who likes to read, this would be re- a really interesting podcast. I think for for those people. But the other podcast, because you both know, um, I'm, I am a wrestling fan. I've been listening to Ring Rest Radio. And this one, but the the main guy is such a douche. So why do you listen to it? <laughs> but the other two guys are pretty reasonable. It's like the Simon Cowell of like. No, wrestling. not even that. He's just I, 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 he's a colossal fucktard, but he's you know entertaining at the very least. Okay. But so yeah, just, I mean, sometimes it like... kind of takes you aback at first because neither of the other two guys disagree with the guy who always starts off the show and whatnot. Honestly, dude, I just listened to a couple of podcasts, and there's three that I actually listen to that I wait for, mm. um, and there's, uh, I don't wait for this one, because you'll be waiting forever. <laughs> also, I'm producing it. Yeah. Uh, sorry if it sounds you like really shit. you be waiting forever. By the way, if anybody's listening, sorry if it sounds like shit, it probably does. The levels are all off. Everything sounds weird, but that's just because we had like a little situation with the sound. Stop making excuses, Alex. But uh, no, I'm, I'm, hey, excuses can be valid. Don't make excuses a negative word like everybody does. Excuses can be valid. See, this is what I've always thought of, thought as well. Excuses it just has a negative con- connotation. An excuse is an excuse for somebody to say that your reason is an excuse. Yeah, but then you're, even then you're still saying excuse is negative. You no, know, but I, I was being, I was being. Excuse uh, me. I was being facetious that time. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, um, when it comes to other podcasts yeah. that I've tried to listen to, I try, I do that just because I'm waiting. To, to for a new episode of the other ones, or right. if if I can't wait, I just start I start listening to old episodes of the ones that I like because it's like me with music, man. It's really hard for me to like take new shit in and put make it a part of my like little yeah. library that I got. Even though I have like thousands of songs in all different genres, yeah. it's still like for me to, you know, like to actually bring it into my little circle of you know my kind of my jams. You're like I don't trust you yet, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Like, you might turn your back on me. Like, you haven't hooked That's me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta hook me. You that know I what I mean? Understand. Yeah. It's I part- get it. Have you wa- started watching anything new on Netflix or whatnot? Any new shows? Well, no, it's not a new show, but I, I started uh, at work, at, at lunch sometimes. I'll be bored and I'll put on Netflix and I'll watch Bob's Burgers. <laughs> huh. I mean, I just like that show because I like uh, weird. John Benjamin, the, the voice actor of the main character. Oh, yeah. He was on uh, Home Movies. Yeah, because I fucking love Home Movies and Dr. Katz oh, yeah. and, and he does all that shit. That was funny as hell. If people um, who don't know, know any of those shows, he does the voice for Archer on the, on the show Archer. Yeah. I don't watch that show. I've seen it, but people know that show, so that's probably the most popular show he's on. I heard Also they- a Comedy Central show called John Benjamin Has a Van, which ran for like two seasons, but it's fucking hilarious. Check that shit oh, was out. That one, was that the one where he, uh, he basically went into like Best Buy with a blue polo on and yeah, just and, tricked and, people? <laughs> and, then he's, and he's like, no, I don't want to care. <laughs> no, no, no. He, went, he goes into Staples... Staples, with a staple shirt on. Nice. And yeah. people were like, excuse me, sir? He's like, oh, I don't work here. <laughs> and people were like, I don't, you know, I, I don't buy your act. He's like, no, I just, I just wore my staple shirt today. That's always happens. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just felt like wearing my that staple shirt so today. It just so happens that I'm in staples. That was like walking into, walking into Target with our old school uniform. Like yes. Red, red, oh red. my yeah. god. Red polo shirt, khaki pants, and brown sketchers. Oh god, that's sketchers, what I wear. Dude. That's what I wear for my job. Red sh- red sketchers? polo shirt, brown can't. Sketches what killed me, dude. 
sketches. I mean, actually, in a way, they kind of grew me then because they're like steel toed and shit. Like, hell yeah, fucking durable as hell. Dude, they used to like staple the soles of them yeah. for some reason. Like just, yeah. to, I was bored in class yeah. and I would just fucking start stapling yeah, my like, shoe. Yeah, like, yo, I can make like scrapey sounds when I walk. Oh. Yeah, if I really had to, I could slide about maybe a few inches more than usual. <laughs> Dude, hi, dude, my God. The shit that I used to do when I wasn't paying attention in class in high school. <laughs> Which was basically the whole time. I used to exactly. Just, I, would draw. Have... I used to draw the whole fucking thing. Like, my whole fucking notebook would just be drawings around, like... You ever made, like, a flip book? Yeah, dude. I made, I made so many flip books of, like, skateboarders going up yeah. half pipes and, like, falling to their death. Yeah, like, like, oh. <laughs> and just... at the end, they just explode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're like, yeah. That's like, a good explosion. A drawing of, like, the skateboard cracked in half. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Should, and then like the last cap, she's like, should have worn a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. High school was cool, though, man. I mean, I don't know. I I, feel like I said something to Jeff the other day, and I was just like... Mm. You asked me if I was going to go to my 10-year reunion. Yeah, I asked him. He, was gonna, he, he said, probably not. He's yeah. like, I don't really have any relationship. I'm like, listen, man. Just to see what's up. Just to be like, yeah, I'm still the alive here. The thing is, here, is we all, like, everybody has Facebook now. I highly doubt there is, there's, there is going to even be a 10-year reunion. Of course there is. A, there's a 10-year reunion for every class since ever. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, okay. I guess I'll go, but... Dude. I don't really care. Like, you don't exactly. care, but if it's fun. If I have nothing fun. better to do that night, like, I'll go. Exactly. But if I'm, like, busy I have like, no with int- life, like, like, I would I have, not care. I have no vested interest right. in going you to think, my... You think you're going to be busy that night? I mean, well, probably what if not. I'm working? It's going to be a bunch of pregnant. Okay, well, if you're working, then you're not going to get off work to go to your high school reunion. I understand. Exactly. It's not it's that gonna important. It's going to be a bunch of like, I'm just saying, high school that fell off, man. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so what I'm saying is if the night was open and you had nothing else to do, would you go? That's, I mean, you, you're, 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 make, you're making excuses. <laughs> uh, <laughs> would you go? And what I was trying to say is like, I don't know. people in high school, man, as the person who seems like they're having the best time, internally is still stressed out as fuck hmm. worried about everything and you know like generally maybe not as confident or comfortable as they make themselves out to be you know what i'm saying like the True most po- the most True popular that. kid in school was probably the most insecure fucking kid in school you know what i'm saying so you can't expect people to always be the same when it wasn't when that you... insecure dude <laughs> <laughs> nice you said this joke before Did I? I swear to god Oh wait, maybe I don't know. I've heard of this deja vu somehow. Yeah. I def- no, I definitely wasn't. I wasn't. I was like the undercover, like cool we all were undercover, the undercover cool kid. No, we like me and Manny, and then like we had like a couple of. See, Manny had his friends, and I had like my friends or whatever. But then like when Manny and I met, it was like me and Manny had like also this like this small little baby group like a shadow clan. Yeah, yeah, like and. <laughs> And we just like came up senior year like I don't know how yeah, like because we threw sick parties and shit. yeah we threw sick parties like we would like jam on like 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 school like uh, fucking functions and shit we were just yeah. like jam out our, like our jazz band it's because we stayed so rare like we never like really cared about what was going on and we didn't yeah. try to be yeah. a part of, like we were cool with everybody like we weren't like we were nice to everyone yeah we were cool like we knew yeah. them and shit but we didn't like fuck with them but then like. So they didn't really know about us. Like, we were just kind of, like, secret. And they just started and wanting to fuck with and us. And then like, all of a sudden, they're like, damn, these niggas do the craziest party and shit. And there was guns. <laughs> it was fucking cool. And, like, and then after that. It was guns. Like, yeah. And then, that wasn't cool. But, and then, like, and then when everybody was trying to, like, be all, like, tied with us after that, we were still just, like, whatever, dude. Yeah. Like, we were yeah, just going to make our music that was always Dude, I remember uh, this, this guy named Mike that went to our high school. I won't say his last name. But he knows, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We literally graduated. Like, it was graduation day. The ceremony had ended. And he's driving his truck off the property. And he, and he stops his truck and rolls down his window, like, where I'm standing. And he goes, hey, man, we should smoke some weed sometime. Yeah. And I'm like, we just graduated high yeah, school. Dude. And now you're asking me to hang out. <laughs> I was like, like, well, I'm not going to be cool anymore. Let me I was like, it. all right, man, sure. And then he just drove off. I used, to, I used to rip that kid off with weed all the time. <laughs> Damn. Fuck that guy, dude. That was He's just... like, yo, I got a scale in the car. I was like, I was like, oh, okay, like, okay, man, don't worry, it's gonna be on point. And I'll just like rip the, like, I'd fucking skimp the shit out. Wait, of rip me. what? Oh. Audible. Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> Take a poll. Click yes or no right now. <laughs> but yeah, man, I don't know, all that, all that high school's crap, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you think about it now, it's like all that shit didn't matter at all. Yeah. Like. For some people, you know, who were, like, if very were scholarly go- and they wanted, like, the advantages of doing well in high school, that's one thing. But at the yeah. end of the day, like, most of those relationships are dwindled, you know what I'm saying? Like, It's, it's a learning experience, but it doesn't, it's, it's, it means a lot, but it doesn't mean it in the same way that you thought it would. 
is, is what it is. Like, it really did change your life in different ways. Like, I mean, we met each other in high school. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I would never have met Jeff. Like, like a lot of things wouldn't have happened. But, like, yeah, like, all the bullshit that went down, like, all those little things don't, like, mean anything. But, like, some other things, like, kind of did. Like, those were key points in your life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, straight up, I, I, I was in downtown Hollywood the other day just to grab a slice of pizza. And I always run into old Shamanai kids. Shamanai was our high school. I always run into old Shamanai kids. They're hilarious. You know who I ran into? Christian Alvarado. Now, this kid used to be pretty big, like, but big, like, as an overweight yeah. in high school. Dude, he's, like, just, he looks good now, you know? And I'm just, it's like, crazy, I saw him. Man. I was, like, dude, True. I thought that was you. He approached me. Yeah. And I'm, like, I thought that was you, but I wasn't sure. I was, like, dude, you know, good for you. You know, he had, like, a hot girlfriend with him, dude, All and everything. Right, dude. And he was really nice to me. That's cool. Quick thought, though. This kid tossed me. Yeah. Back in high school once. Damn. Because we were, we were fucking around because somebody found like a used condom on the ground. <laughs> and we were all like, we had like a stick and we were just being stupid as fuck, you know? <laughs> so smart. And I thought it was funny, you know? And then, and then it ended up like landing on his leg and he got really pissed. Shit. So he and then, you. And then th- he grabbed me by the backpack. <laughs> he threw me into some bushes. 15 feet. And then I proceeded to scream at him for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> and he didn't do shit. He didn't do anything. And I was just like, all right, man. If that's it, that's it. You got your anger out. I got my anger out. I'm not going to worry about this. You know what I'm saying? Like, You know what I'm saying? Who really yeah, cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, we're not straight no more. We're not straight no more. I was like, dude, whatever. We were all just fucking around. You just got mad. Like, like just- you got a condom on your leg. It wasn't even bare. Like, you're fine. Yeah, like you're wearing fucking khaki pants and like, shit. And they're dirty high school shamanite pants. Yeah, yeah your like, mom's going to wash that shit tonight. I'm like, you funny. know you shit your pants and shit in high school. Like, get, fuck, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> but no, yeah. We don't, people don't forget that. Nope. People but like, don't forget. And I'm sure when he saw me, he remembered that too. <laughs> but like, you should have just, just busted out condom and just slapped it in his face and ran away. <laughs> be like... Like, never forget. Yeah, just, unfor- <laughs> unfortunately, that was one of the only days I didn't have a used condom on me, you know? Ah, so. <laughs> I usually just leave them on until I use the next one. And I was just, just going to say, like, in the, that episode of South Park that one time, where they thought they had to wear condoms yeah. or else they would get, like, STDs, yeah, even yeah. though they weren't having sex. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, and Eric uh, Cartman would just use it as a catheter, like, in class, he would just, like, yeah. pee in it. <laughs> oh, condoms. I don't re- condoms. I don't remember what those do. Yeah, I don't... I, I have I have, used have a condom, condom in, in years. I have condoms in my drawer, and I I all the times that I've had sex while those condoms are in my drawer, you they've never been it. taken out of that drawer. Oh, <laughs> but you know what I have? Open that same drawer and the condoms. I'll dig through the condoms to find the lube, oh, <laughs> and I'll grab the lube but not the condoms. <laughs> it sounded so creepy. Just I that know. one. Yeah. I just, just, just want to sample that one. Like, like grab the lube but not the condoms. <laughs> like, make a fucking beat out. Giggity, giggity. That's why I sound like him. Giggity. Fucking that guy. No, but like straight up. But you know the that thing is, is, the lube is the most convenient when you're using a condom because condoms fucking dry everything out and ruin sex like forever. But if you have so lube, it just helps it. Just like a plastic bag. It's horrible, man. I hate that shit. Yeah, fuck that. Shit. I have like the the skin ones. They're supposed to be, like really thin. Like fuck all that. It's just like okay, I don't care how thin it is. I don't, right. it's, yeah. It fucking chokes my dick. I'm gonna break this. That's thing. what I'm saying. Your 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 homeboy is suffocating. Dude, literally, it goes condom. <laughs> like, oh, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah, just, like, just like, kid. <laughs> makes you feel like a creep. I don't know, I just can't it's do like it. A fucking I sack of like rubber around your fucking Johnson. No nah, man. I don't Anyways, know. I mean, if any of you guys out there use condoms, that's cool. I mean, of course, no, not, we're not saying not to use condoms, but I mean, it's a choice you have. You should, <laughs> but I mean, Wait, the audience should know I'm I'm in a happy relationship for the yeah, time yeah, duration. Yeah. And you know what I mean. So it's not like I'm just a like maybe like guy. if you got her prego, it wouldn't be well. That'd be kind of bad. I mean, but it w- but it wouldn't be like there's other. Wow, I hate this girl, and I don't want to have a baby with her. Right. I mean, to me, the condom is more like the STD protect- protection. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. No, I'm not honestly, really worried about the baby thing. Because honestly, like as much as people get cover. pregnant accidentally. It's fucking hard to get pregnant, dude. It doesn't just happen like yeah, it's, easily. It it's is pretty as diff- often as It's think. pretty difficult to get pregnant. I mean, it's I mean pretty, it happens it's a lot. It's pretty easy, but it's also easy to not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You really I mean, have... You just got to be like, just pull out game has to be strong. Okay? <laughs> pull out game yeah, has to be strong. You got to know when, where, and how fast. What about all like the pre-cum that comes out like, before you actually fully yeah, I think there ejaculate? Are yeah, but that's like the weak sperm. That's just like the... Uh, they get the head start. I couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. They get I guess the head right. start. No but, no, but straight up like... Whatever. I know like girls like... Like I've I've known of girls like in relationships and stuff, and they're trying to get pregnant. So like the fucking 
I don't know. Don't What's funny about pregnant that. girls is yeah. that you see them, and one thing you just, I don't know where my mind goes, but you have to realize it's just like that girl was just full of cum. Like, like at some point. <laughs> yeah, like somebody just did <laughs> somebody a full Somebody just of, fucked the shit Somebody out went of full auto. It was like, blah, blah, blah. Probably like a lot. Like, yeah. they just like did it a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're, we're going there right now, but just like, just imagine. She just got twisted. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> but like girls were like, like they'll, they'll like, lean back and like put their legs over their heads and stay there for like 10 minutes oh like now God. I'm soaking it in I'm trying to get pregnant and I would shit. punch a girl in the stomach if she did that <laughs> <laughs> not oh, really no. I mean, oh god this, I had the worst picture in my head yeah, right there I would get mad if, thanks like, for that Manny if like if she did it purposefully if it was like a one night stand and I came I went to oh, the that's bathroom different. Yeah. and I came back out and she was doing that I would get mad I would yell I would scream. I would say profanities. <laughs> she, no, but Obscenities? Like, before you even have sex, and, you're, and let's say, like, you know, you she, had, she had condoms for you to use, but she would, like, you went to the bathroom, and you walk out, she has, like, a thumbtack. She's poking holes in the fucking Dude, condoms and shit. Bitches do that shit. I know they do. Bitches be crazy. Yes, that's where that term comes from, from all the crazy bitches. Yeah. <laughs> we I have zero imagine there's a, audience right now. I know. No, but think about it. I was just going to say, right now, do you think that there are guys out there that want to impregnate girls as bad as girls want to get pregnant. Yeah, pregnant. I want to impregnate Oprah. I mean, you I'm know sh- what? I would do it. Yeah, I would do this I shit. Of that. Whatever, dude. I'd be chilling. I thought of that Dave Chappelle skit. That Dave Chappelle skit. You just see me like in a robe smoking a cigar. <laughs> You're like, Manny. Manny did pretty good for himself. <laughs> so you'd uh, poke you'd poke hole in Oprah condoms. Dude, I would just not condom it up. What, is, what I'm saying, if she made you wear a condom, I would I would stay in there until she got pregnant. <laughs> you may I, have overstayed your welcome. <laughs> I have a camping bag and a flight. like. You would wait like four weeks just to see like. Yeah, <laughs> and then I would pull out. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like be in there, dude. Nah, man. By the time you take out your dick, will be all pruny and shit. Like it's been in the pool too long or something. Gotta like. it, you gotta pay the cost to be the boss. All the <laughs> all the fucking vagina acids is just yeah, deteriorating. Yeah, just my it. dick just comes out like a skeleton, <laughs> just like a fish bone. <laughs> Oh no! Oh god! Uh, I'd All right, cry. <laughs> All right. Reverting to the to the okay, not okay okay the not so um, okay. Um, would you rather? Fuck. Would you rather have literally all the money in the world, hmm. but your dick like shriveled? It's like you could pee and you could like it's there, but it's so small that it's just like like I'm like you can't fuck like you, okay you can't even masturbate. That's microscopic. Not even with like a pair of tweezers. Like yeah, you can't masturbate. You can't. Damn. You can't. It's purely okay, utility. Or or so or, just, so, or you just you'd have like a normal dick, maybe whatever above average, whichever dick you might desire. Whatever. And every girl wanted to fuck you. No, but you're dirt poor, like, and you can never like be rich. Honestly, mm-hmm. dude, that see, I don't really what know what think? a bit what what like a great dick does for your life because I myself have a great dick. And I don't make well, a lot of money. Yeah, so at, the, at the end of the day, I'm already living your part too. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, but you'd be living, you'd be living substandard to where we at, like to where you're at you'd now. Be like, you'd be like, well, here's just a- enough to not like be like homeless. You know what I mean? That's how, that's how much money I make now because yeah, I live at home. Real. Yeah, but you don't like you wouldn't have a home to live at like like that. Like you'd have to like pay rent and shit. You know what I'm saying, dude? Whatever. That's I know, but that's but that's a hard question to answer because I know that's why I asked. It. Money makes things easier. Well, the thing is, you that, can always work your work your way up. You know, you can always get a job all the money in the world, shit. man, because I would find a way to get some crazy surgery to give me a dick again. Dude, they no, grow no, penises no, in a lab. I just now. found a loophole in your fucking no, question. They grow penises yeah, but that's in a lab. You can do that shit. Like the consequences I'm describing are permanent forever. So if you're cheap, if you're if you're poor, like you're always gonna be poor, and if you're rich, like in a baby dick, you're always gonna have a baby dick. Which would you choose? No, I'd rather be poor with a regular. Yeah, dick. I don't want to smoke penis. Yeah, me too, dude. <laughs> be- because then, because then I you- could just be an alcoholic and just fuck bitches. Yeah, like, <laughs> you, I mean, you can still use it. You yeah, feel me? like I'd rather I be able to use rich, my. Like I would just buy. I would have to just spend my money all the time on like. All the crazy shit. I have like an eighty foot yacht in the shape of a penis and shit. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> like that when Peter Griffin buys you just a penis be compensating. car. You just spend yeah. your life compensating. Yeah, exactly. And then, but like, no matter what hot girl you had, like, you, it's just she knows. Like all you could do is just eat her out. She knows. And I mean, she, I like doing that, but yeah, but that's but it. that makes you want to fuck. That's yeah, it. yeah, but you're and then you just go. It's to called like, foreplay for you're a reason. Just like, you're just like scissoring her and shit. <laughs> Oh, so, so basically, you're saying your dick is so small, it's like a clit. 
Exactly. <laughs> At the end Damn. of the team, we just but have to go. You cannot little... enter anything. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. It's not scissoring it is, I guess. It can only be rubbed. <laughs> All right, hey, so... it worked for Mr. Garrison for a time. So. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, God. it's a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, re- regular, regular wiener, regular life. I don't know. I don't know. Money's one of those things, man, where, like, I don't really care for it, but at the same time, it does make things Would easier. Would not mind it. Definitely not. I mean, what am I just getting paid more at my job? I mean, that'd be cool, but, I mean, I think most people feel that way. So, like, I'm not, I'm not really worried about it, though, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I'm just alive, you know what I'm saying? Aww. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck you. Jeff, you got any topics, bro? Um, <laughs> any topics? Hot topics. Topical, Hot topic. Any topical... Hot topics? topical bags of magic tricks. Is that your topic? I have no clue. Okay. Um, so you got nothing? Not at the moment, but I was I was liking Manny's would you rather questions. Alright, so give me a would you rather. Alright, would you rather... All right. you would, you rather would, you, would you rather... No. Fly? Like Superman. Like have the ability to fly? Yes, have the ability <laughs> to fly. Flying for sure. Super, or, is this a superpower question? I already Why said Why not? I already, oh, no, no, wait, 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 you didn't let me finish. I or, or, live in a cartoon universe. Oh, that's not a superpower. It is that's, a, that's, it is a would you rather, though. It Even is a would like, you like rather. Like a cartoon universe, like well, fucking... A cartoon, it's not a good question because a cartoon universe you could fly in, so... True. Why Ooh, wouldn't no, you, just... you do, no, 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 it's it's the uh, Wile E. Coyote cartoon universe where if you run off the edge of a cliff, you... St- Stay le- you stay level for a second okay, until you look down and then you fall. You ran off the edge of the cliff, you just fly and not fucking die. Dude, cartoon shit. universes have different rules. I know, but Wait, hold on. So, so this is saying, one of them. So are you saying that in this cartoon universe, you're, you're describing Wile E. Coyote in the road? You can't run. die. We all know that, yeah, we all know that you can't die. You can be flattened. Okay, but you cannot fly. You understand? That sucks. What the fuck's the point? It's a cartoon universe. Dude, I would f- I would find a way to macerate my ser- uh, ma- ma- make, make myself acne? a fucking fake ass wings that that work for some reason cuz I'd call it acne yeah. like yo give me them wings. Hey, dog. acne yourself up some shit. I don't know. Okay, fine. Which um cartoon universe like Roger Wh- Rabbit? Yes, like Roger Rabbit. For sure fly, dude. Fly all day. Cool. Fly. I would, would you rather live in a cartoon universe? I character? would rather fly. I think like they like there's something I think I think everyone exhilarating about the possibility. Everybody in the world would probably rather fly. There yeah. is the cool super Although I wouldn't mind spending a day in the cartoon universe. Yeah, that's that's easy. Just take some acid. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Man jumps off building, but he claimed he couldn't fly. But he was in a cartoon universe. I started die. watching this show on on Netflix called Fringe. I've I heard of that. Heard of it? Have you heard of it? I, yeah, I just said I heard of it. I didn't hear you. Sorry. I'm talking over you. That's why. But um, it's really funny because the mad scientist character in the show is always talking about how he and his lab partner used to take psychedelics and uh, mat, like huge amounts of LSD. And that's how they got the idea for the multiverse and what. Like, he's just nuts. Multiverse. But he's just like, we took copious amounts of LSD and psychedelics. And we saw a shimmering world with the thing. Like it was really, it's just like how we saw sure matter you, of fact. You sure you just started watching this show? Because I feel like you've told me this before. No, I just started watching it, like last about year. A, about no, not last year. I just started watching it like earlier this week. Earlier this week, same time last year. <laughs> ha. Earlier this week, a year ago. All right. I just finished the season in a, in like two days. The first season in in about two days, yeah. So and it was early this week, so. All hey, right. when you binge watch, you fringe watch. Oh my god! Oh my Do you get god, really? Dude, you just practice that. We're not getting paid for this, so why no, the fuck do you even say that? I know, but uh, it just popped in my head. The other day, I looked at the that. picture of you on the billboard, Jeff. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me think. I'm trying to think of more. All right, would you rather? Okay. Would you rather see like an old Three. crush of yours? from like high school or even middle school or whatever now and be able to spend an evening with them or would you rather go back to someone that you've wronged in the past that you still feel bad about and be able to apologize to them and hang out with them instead? The girl thing. I would actually choose the second because in all honesty one of them was my high school crush and I was kind of Oh, so you got you got both. Yeah. So, but who knows? Two birds, maybe one because stone. of that, maybe because of that she Two would birds, one stoner. Spend- no, but maybe maybe because of that, she would end up wanting to spend the evening. 
Well, well, no. We're on the, either I'm way, just just, I'm either way, you spend the evening with them. I'm saying. <coughs> either I, way, either way, you spend the evening with. Them. Yeah, either way. Like it or not, the, yeah. like if she didn't want to, you just have her handcuffed because this is the wish. Wait, is, is that <laughs> part of it? Wait, this, is oh, oh, this is a different would you rather. <laughs> no, because because. Like you would, you said no matter what, you'd be spending an evening with her. So like, even if she's like, no, Jeff, we have a restraining order. No matter what, like, <laughs> like you would be spending an evening with her. Wait, hold on, wait, wait. Does this girl have a restraining order on you? No. Okay. Did All she right. at one point have a restraining order? No. On you? Okay. Cool. No, no girl I've ever known has had has or has had a restraining order that you know me. about. <laughs> to my knowledge, cool. yeah. <laughs> not to your knowledge. <laughs> All right. So I plead the fifth. I went to the keys Subject. this weekend, and it was pretty great. It was fun. I I, I didn't even know. I like, you were just kind of like, yeah, yeah back in the keys. Like, I just dipped out. I'm sorry. You, I fucking didn't know how to run things by you. No, 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 no. I was just surprised that you, yeah, that meant, like Manny said, you dipped out. I had to go. I, okay. I, had, to, I had this plan for a few months. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I, uh, I went snorkeling, which was cool. I uh, thought that I was going to get attacked by a shark. Hell because yeah. the girl I was snorkeling with, was she was kind of out there. And she was like, yo, if a bullhead just approaches us, just, just punch it in the mouth. <laughs> and I was like, well, yeah, that's what you're taught to do. That's what you're taught to do, you know, when a shark approaches you. You got to hit him between the eyes or some shit. Kick him or punch him in right the Right on the nose. Yeah, just before they right, bite your arm. Right yeah, yeah but yeah, like, I'm just like, but that's if I see it coming, you know. <laughs> and punching my, out of water is like punching in a dream. And, and we, were, we were going pretty far out because there was this boathouse. We wanted to go see if anyone was there and see what's up. <laughs> so like the whole time I'm there I'm just like all right we're here now no one's home let's go back <laughs> like, but it was still cool as hell you know like you never get to do shit like that so no that's cool as fuck I chilled out on the beach for like two days um, I drank so much Florida craft beer out of kegs literally I got hammered drunk off of just beer like I didn't drink any liquor at all I just drank beer so and nice. not, not gonna lie I smoked a ton of weed. <laughs> so much weed it was like copious <laughs> amounts copious, of marijuana yeah. oh yeah dude. no like this guy uh, copious quantities my friend of who I hadn't seen in a long 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 time dude he just had the best shit nice. and he would put he put like uh, like oil like on it he would yeah. lace it with the oil what and we just we smoked like not even a joke maybe like five or six of those <laughs> It was, it was crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah, like thank God, I like I was smart and I knew I was probably gonna get drunk, you know. And so I was like, it's a uh, took a cab from the hotel to the place. Very smart. Honestly, even getting the cab later that night, I was pretty proud of myself because I couldn't fucking talk. I remember yeah. at one point I called the number. <laughs> I got we got the yellow car. No, like straight up, I I, 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 I called the number back and I was like, you get back in my room for a friend. Go I on. called the number back, and <laughs> but that's pretty much what it was. I was like, "Hello," and she's like, "Hello," and I'm like, "No, it's no taxi." Glad to call the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, "Yeah, I said I'll be there in 20 minutes. I'll be there really soon." Oh, cool. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, like I straight up like, and then like I saw like a fire, and I was like, "Ooh." Like, I'm like, let me go, cause like I literally was like walking around aimlessly because I was like, I'm so drunk. I'm like, like I want to lay down. Swinging the shit out of your arms. But I'm like, not. But I'm not gonna lay down because then I'll get spinny. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was just like, let me just go find somewhere to sit. And then we, then I, bro, I see pictures from that night, and I'm just like, I don't remember seeing that. I don't remember seeing that. Like I was in my own world with my own people doing my own thing. Damn. It was fun. It was fun. And you fun. didn't need a towel. No, nah, bro. Cool. When I got back to the hotel, though, it was hilarious. Like, I woke up. I'm just, I'm just glad I got there. Like, I, I remembered my shoes because my shoes were off. I remember my shoes. I had the room key. Everything was fine. Cool. I woke up that morning, and my, like, shoes and my pants were, like, in the separate room. Away. Like, they were, like, far away as fuck from where I was. And I was on the bed with my shirt still on, like, you know how like you sit on the edge of the bed and then you lay back and yeah. your feet are still on the ground? Yeah. <laughs> That's how I woke up. And then I look over, because there was like four beds in a room and there was only two of us in there. It was like ridiculous. Um, yeah. And I looked over and the girl that I was staying with, she was like under the covers, like in a bed somewhere. And I was like, ooh, good idea. And then, then uh, I climbed under the covers for the last like hour that I slept there that we had to get up and shit. And then we just partied again the next day. Dude, one day I woke up from a party in my house <laughs> This is the fucking weirdest thing. I still don't know how this happened, but I woke up and all I had, I had my shirt on 
my shoes on, <laughs> my socks were off, and I had no pants on. And, yeah, under my covers. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> tucked you in? <laughs> I don't know. That's fun. Okay, this is my only thing. This is this is probably what happened. I'm just saying. I'm pretty you, sure I know what happened, but let me hear what, what you think. You may have hooked up with somebody. Mm. So right, but of course. but then you probably like put your shoes on and go do something and then you <laughs> ended up just being so fucked up and like high on sex or whatever the fuck it was that you just went in went into bed, bed and bed. didn't even think about your shoes. Yeah. That makes sense. Smence. Smence? Smence makes sense. Yes, no no no. That's that's pretty much exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, still, when I woke up, I was like, what the fuck? Like, you know when you first wake up? You don't know where you are. Like, you don't remember shit until people start telling you stories about the night before and you start talking about it. And you're like, oh, yeah. But like, it's like it's weird because, like, I remembered, like, things that happened, but, like, those increments between the things that yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. It's all fuzzy. Yeah, like, you remember, like, the milestones, but, like, the, yeah. the fucking road to those milestones. Oh, you don't know. Sure oh, my gosh. Story. There was the, um... Because I want to know, like, has something okay. like this ever happened to you, Jeff? Okay. Something <laughs> ridiculous happened to me. Yes. I d- well, no, I did not need a towel. Um, there were two occasions, two Halloweens, where it's I a, just... It's always Halloween. It's always Halloween. People get wrecked. Halloween's, Halloween's coming up, dude. I know. I, I know. But these two particular... Which, by the way, I still need to find some corduroy pants. Okay. It's we'll we'll get on it, bro. Thing you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Just keep going, bro. <laughs> what do you need to go on <laughs> um, I decided to go as the Joker two separate Halloween. Yeah. Um, Could have guessed. One that. time, well, one time I went uh, because my friend from Stranahan uh, invited me, and we were still talking at the time. And that was a fun night. I still have photos of that. And but I remember getting the cab and just kind of like lolling in the cab, like against the window. Like, you know, when well, good you thing you didn't need a towel because throwing up in a cab costs you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Man, I've had a I mean, I don't know from like experience. That, you really have someone does throw it up in actually, cabs and Does shit? that in fact charge you, know, you extra? I've thrown up in my own car. Okay. I but not have, in a cab. I have a crazy story about a cab. Well, I had this. All right, let's just Sorry. finish his and then you, right. then you say you're that, that, that year crazy. was fine. That year was fine. I just, you know, my buddy Brandon, I could not. I went with my buddy Brandon. I could not find him. And so I just took a cab home. You know, I'm just like, I just wandered to the front of the casino. Like, I went where we parked, and apparently he'd gone off with some chick. But I went where we parked, and like, I laid down on the grass for a good 30 minutes. And then I was like, he must not be here. So, <laughs> like, literally, I was just like, he must not be here. So I walked, got up, walked back across the street to the casino, walked to the front of the casino where all the You're cabs walking were. around in public, just dressed like the Joker, fucking like teetering, teetering, and tottering smashed. everywhere, like, <laughs> like smashed the fuck. Everybody's like, he's really in character. Yeah, you realize that you could have been arrested, dude. Right? <laughs> so many people wanted pictures with me because they said I was the best looking Joker they'd ever seen. And you're probably crazy as fuck because you were like, "How the hell get that?" And they're probably just being bat. sarcastic as fuck, like, "Yo, you're like the best one ever." That fucking Batman. Well, I had um, Gotham uh, fuzzy. Just fuck off. Well, why tell me to fuck off? I'm. Just, I don't know. Is it me? You guys sound like a married couple. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you too. Fuck your couch, bro. Now it's a love seat. <laughs> oh my That's God. the joke. That's right, the joke. The That's second joke. one, um, I went on my own just by myself because I had no nothing to do one year. And I remember just hanging out in, I believe it, I don't remember the club, but I remember just hanging out. In, and, the, in the club? Yeah. And, just, and then suddenly the drinks start coming. Well, and yeah, the as next they, thing as they I tend know, to drink, started coming for us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so like the there they are. The Nazis were there they <laughs> are, and I drank them. And the next thing I know, I'm I'm heading into an ambulance, what and there's the... my dad. And he takes me. I'm like, Dad, what the hell's going on? Well, man, I wish we were videotaping this just so you guys could see my yeah. eyes just now. Yeah, for real, <laughs> my eyes just came was, out of my head. Dude. That just and that. And that is why I don't do the alcohol anymore. So except for the you're, you're drinking a beer. I mean, right I'm now. having a beer, but I don't. I don't do the party. You tell me you're gonna need a towel and an ambulance later. Oh no, dude, don't need an ambulance. 
no, no, no. <laughs> but I just don't do the whole club. I just don't know how you go from needing a towel to needing an ambulance. Like, there's got to be like an in between. There, there was an in between, but I cannot like, remember. First, I just got a little jar and a towel. Cut to. I was going to shower. No, literally, it was cut to. Cut to. I'm in an ambulance. I blacked the fuck out. I want to know what happened in between. I do too. You probably like fell on the ground and we started dancing on you. Yeah. Like just trampling you. Somebody like surfboarded you. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what happened. And then they probably like there was like they picture the drunk. We this was, we were Joker again this year. This is yeah. Halloween. This was like different they, Halloween, they, like, probably, like, same costume. Weekend at Bernie's, you like fucking put you like on a yeah. chair, like took pictures of you and shit, like yeah. just, put sunglasses on you. <laughs> <laughs> Never had that happen to me. <laughs> Actually, it's funny. That I'm, I'm telling you, happened. that's exactly what happened. We used to do that shit to Chris all the time because he used to pass out. Oh, because so he bad. won't wake up, <laughs> dude. He won't wake up. I won't wake up either, though. No, you don't. I won't. Like, <laughs> there, You're like I, my stepbrother. He doesn't wake up for shit. Well, it's only when I'm like super fucked up. Remember when we played the prank on James? Oh my god! He oh, almost we woke him up. Me, well, we're going to another dimension. He almost choked me to death. That was awesome. No, that was pretty funny because I have it on video and remember the noise he made like, like the oh! he went this oh! Oh! <laughs> No, but it was like it was like a like somebody just like fighting for their life. Yeah. No, he do he grabbed you by the, the shirt. Dude, it was no yeah, it was like my He throat. had like your he neck was holding much. the remote like a knife. Like I a know, hunting yeah. <laughs> He woke up like a fucking Vietnam veteran, dude. I no, could. I was that, laughing man. so hard that I could've, we couldn't breathe. You know when you laugh so like so deeply that there's no air. And I fell. Yeah, dude, I fell <laughs> down and I hit this fucking yeah. like dresser Just and then over. knocked everything down. That, that was, was like the classic. same. Night, that was the same night we channel surfed and we landed on USA while um, wrestling was on. And we're just sitting there for five minutes oh watching God. it, and then you wa- and then the little bearded dude comes out and everybody's chanting yes. <laughs> And man, he's like, "This is awesome." <laughs> I remember that. It's like it's like at the, it's like at the end of Yellow Submarine when it's just like, yeah. "Yes, beep 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 beep." Yes, and like the psychedelic oh, trippy movie. colors going. It's yeah, like it's the awesome. best word ever. It is. Yes. Like the whole end of that movie was just about the word yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. That was good. That was funny. Damn man, I don't know. Like it's weird. Like I haven't gotten sick from alcohol in a long time, but but I mean that night, I mean. The next day, I woke up, my eyes were bloodshot, dude. <laughs> like, and like, I didn't feel drunk anymore, but I felt high. Dude, I love when you <laughs> But wake I might have been being hung over. I love when you wake up after like a really fucking crazy night, <laughs> but you me. feel good, like you feel okay, and that day, like you just go and like, you go somewhere and you just like chill, and you talk about the night before and shit, and you just feel super awesome. That's like the best feeling. That's like way better than even the night before sometimes. It's like that's, the it's the aftermath. But that's like the after happens like the after on high. vacation because like the after like there is like you know the next day you don't have to worry about shit. Yeah, you know shit to yeah. do. That's why you get yeah. so retarded in yeah, the first and place. Like, you're just like yeah, <laughs> like it's fun as hell. I love. That's how it was in Puerto Rico, dude. I had a crazy time out there, man. Retarded in a drunk way, not in a mentally. And yeah, yeah, not in a not in an offensive way. Yeah, anybody who cares this about things offensive. like that. Yeah, I, I think. Said I mean, minus everything else you've said for the past. Hour. Whatever I said, it's not offensive because I'm just telling you right now that it's not offensive. <laughs> so don't. I'm pre-apologizing for anything you may be offended by. It's better to ask forgiveness than permission. And then if, entertainment here, maybe. If you're still offended, then Indeed. I really don't give a fuck. Then then, then there's then then there's no turn hope for you. Why are you listening? Oh man. Well, I mean, <laughs> I I don't know. This has been fun. This I, has been fun. Honestly, like I, as much as we want to have this like organized and 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 just, you know, have videos for the fucking podcast, like have the audio be the same every week and just work out. Honestly, it's hard because we're not funded. We're literally doing this on in our, our own. Fr- yeah, like on this our own. This is as my fuck, mic. That's his. Utilizing that's our his. resources, like using. Yeah. You know, shit that I already have, like OLS Mixer and shit, like just, you know, doing whatever we can to make this happen. So, I think that I do want to um, actually actually make a Kickstarter for this. Because Jeff and I, when we first started doing it, um, the Perd Cursed, we, uh, <laughs> we were going to make a Kickstarter. And we actually talked about it for a little while. Because... But um, because we needed new equipment and stuff yeah. like that, and honestly, we still need that stuff, and we and we, we need, need a third we need now. some sort of funding just so we can get this rolling regularly and consistent content of the same and quality. quality. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we're gonna punch that up. Maybe by the next episode, we'll announce that it's up, or you can just search for it whenever you hear this one, and maybe it'll be up. But um, it'll it'll be soon. So if you do want to help us out with that. 
you know, we're not going to have like crazy goals or anything like that, but we definitely need to invest in some stuff just to make this something that we want it to be. And we want to make something that, that not only is worthy of the one listener we have currently, um, probably have we, a couple more of them. We, we always make we, jokes we about do have it. More, yeah, that's just a joke. But, but, it's, it's but we do want to make something worthy of the people who come up who come, you know, into contact with the with the Pissy Gas. Yeah. I'm going to call it the Pissy Gas now, but you know, for people who stumble upon it, be it on YouTube or iTunes or whatever. Well, that's the thing is it's not it. even on iTunes. I want to yeah, make that happen. I want to put it yeah, on Yeah, wherever we put it. I want to have like want... a fucking site where people can go and just listen to it easy as fuck. Yeah. So, all that aside, man, like but we, we, we know want... what we we know what we want to do. We know what we want to do. We're we're going to make it happen, but we need we need some help to do that. Otherwise, it's just going to be this random ass we want but, you to want. Any spit change? <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's like yeah, not begging. Yeah, five cents and shit, man. But it just yeah, it's something. It, any, Mail us your quarters. And any, any, anything helps, you know. Like we we have a goal. Hopefully, we reach that goal, and and then you know you're gonna be happy. You know, we have a product that uh that we can just continually do. You know, and we'll keep doing it. We'll keep doing it forever and ever and ever until yeah. eventually it's just like fuck this. But that it's, won't happen anytime soon because I think we have a lot. Money and buy fish tanks. <laughs> Call Reef Tanks. Yeah, let's make sure managers have Free access apologies. to the account. <laughs> yeah, hide that shit. No. All right, yeah, so so, so, that, so, so that's that. Uh, right. Thank you for listening. We want you to follow us on Twitter. Uh, um, I, I thought about that earlier. No, I'm going to... You know what? Fuck Don't worry about it. I, I no, 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 no. I know. You, you, know you can say you know yours. You know what? I do Twitter, um, both for my book and for the Pissy Cast. Uh, I'm going to merge it into one. Um... But I have two different accounts, one for my book, one for my one for the Pissy Cast. And but follow me at Mavendury, M A V O N D U R I. That's for if you want to know stuff about my book or just general, you know, things that I'm finding and whatnot. However, if you want to know about the Pissy Cast, follow me at the one number one, not spelled out, but yeah, the, the one, number one, the, no, the, the number no, one, the numerical digit. Yes. <laughs> underscore shan man and that is for the pissy cast that is for my hip-hop that is where you will find links to all of my projects and works in progress um the show yeah. and and if you and want also, if, if you if you if you want to find me anywhere i am on facebook that's where you can hit me up i'm not on true. twitter and shit honestly but i'm barely on facebook but i mean if you send me a message and i see it I'm gonna fucking say what's up. I'm yeah. not like that, you know. Uh, that's I. I honestly don't know what it is. Just oh, just go on a uh, facebook.com slash uh, Ace Rock, Ace Rock uh, Seven. I think it is, and that'll go to my music page. Just like that shit, and then I'll nope. I like you back. And and if you want to find me, uh, keep trying. <laughs> Actually, I can tell them where to find. Rolling on the I don't want to find me. There. I'm in hiding, bro. I'm going ninja mode. All right. This so you is don't, my only appearance. You, if you like, yeah, if you want to find men, you find them right here yeah, on yeah, the Marshan yeah. Piss Piss the Kids. One and only yeah. Pace. Where we cross the streams all day. Yep. Kaplow. Splash. All right, we're out. Peace.